Mozaverses is back and we are back in sunny Essex. 10 minutes from the cameraman's house once again. All of that side, we're at a beautiful fishery, which is Bentley Fishery, obviously in Essex, and it is a lovely estate lake. Beautiful pad lined margins. You've got a couple of islands here. The perfect place or perfect setting to catch a few fish. Now there's around about 80 to 85 fish hand-picked that are swimming around in here and a majority of them, we're told, are mirrors. The odd one reaching 30 odd pound, there's a plenty of 20 pounders here to go at and the odd double as well. So my opponent for this one then, it's the one you've all been waiting for. He's caffeine intolerant, he's a carp geek, he thinks he's a freak and he catches the odd fish on cat meat. It is Mark Pitchers. What's up carp freaks? I've really been looking forward to doing this session with Mozza. He's been asking me for years to give him a tutorial and now I get to give him one for free. <laughs> What's <the> for? <laughs> so when I heard that I was to be Mozza's next opponent, I was absolutely buzzing for this. I couldn't wait to give him a proper pasting. I mean, if my apprentice Harry can beat him, then it's game over already for me. No. <laughs> so it is, Mark. So it is. He's on the ropes. Look, one side are in him and he doesn't know where he is. <laughs> so the forecast this week is for temperatures to rise to 30 degrees. So Mozza has come well prepared. He has brought all this float fishing kit. Me, I've also come prepared. I've been to Bargain Booze and bought 10 cans of cider for £8.99. <laughs> <laughs> So then, Mark, the challenge for who gets what peg left Ooh. and right. I didn't, I didn't know there's going to be a challenge. I didn't know yeah, what we're doing. Yeah, unfortunately, okay. this never is... never watched one of your videos I know. Before. Same, Mark, same. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought for this one, we will see how many boilies are in the bucket. So you've got to None. come closest. I win. Yeah, not yet, not yet. Ah. Can't. It's eager beaver. Eager beaver. Right, so... I'm going to pour some boilies yeah. into the bucket. We're going to get the cameramen involved. They can count how many boilies are in there. Oh, yes. <laughs> so let's get this thing started. Ready, boys? <laughs> so you got to... <laughs> Right, so how many boilies? <laughs> I think that needs some dip on it first as well. <laughs> dip, dip. <laughs> right, right, I'm going to pour them obviously back in. We won't, we won't punish the boys too much. What'd you say? Yeah, that's a good amount. Good isn't amount, it? good yeah. amount in there. All right, that's a good amount in there. Well, good luck counting them, boys. <laughs> right. Right. When do we guess? Well, this is the thing. Have you got a coin? Who so guesses first? Oh, I've got a coin. Here we go. Okay. Right. Heads what? or tails for who guesses first? Who call? Who 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 calls first? But whoever wins, obviously, heads or tails, Mark. Well, who gets a call? Do you do it in the air? Well, when do... it's on the ground? When do you call? But that doesn't do matter. Heads. Do that. Heads. Oh, it's heads. Right, can I examine the buckets? Yeah, of course I you don't can. know how deep it is. Right. No, don't, don't get too close to me, COVID. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Look at him counting. <laughs> I'm going to go with... <laughs> I'm trying to count them. <laughs> He's trying to count them. <laughs> I'm gonna go with. Five, shouldn't four, have had that cider. Three, two, one. 199. 100, that's a bit much. 197. I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I didn't want to go first. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. <laughs> Mate, I didn't think there was that many and in there. And you thought there was 87. <laughs> no. 185. Oh! <laughs> 190. No! 195. No! 198. No! <laughs> 199. You 200. bastard! <laughs> oh, he's got it! I was about 210. That was a good <gasps> that guess. That was a good <laughs> guess, man. <laughs> That was a really good, I would have been nowhere near that. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bloody good guess. Cheers, mate. Oh, wow. What side are you going? I need to double check. I don't need to, I, I want to double check first. Is that okay? Do I need to call it now or when we go now. in there? Really? Yes. Really? Yeah. 
can we do it now down there? <laughs> now you have to do it for my culture. Can I just go down there and then yeah, come back up? Yeah, course, yeah. Okay. Are you coming down with? Yes. Well, seeing as you've never ever watched one of these, Mark, <laughs> supportive colleague and all, yeah. you now get to choose what peg you would like to go in out of these two. Okay. Well, I'm going to choose this one here. Right, okay. So you're leaving me out in the Essex sun, are you? Uh-huh. I'll be joining <laughs> you in there, though. Oh, will That's you? That's okay. What, meet you apart, of course. Yeah, I'll be, yeah. yeah. Of course. I brought a sun lounger. Have you? Yeah. I brought a hammock. Really? No. I've got a picnic <laughs> basket. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, so you're going to go on the right, then? Yep. Looks lovely, man. Yeah, Looks two lovely. islands there to go at, quite mm -hmm. a lot of cover. So, yeah, uh, this is where I fancy, yeah. Uh, cool. Well, We've seen some fish on the left, so I've got some fish to go yeah, at the very least. There, yeah. yeah, so uh, yeah, it's probably looking forward to it. Let's get the kit, let's get the rods out. Best of luck. And you, but not too much. <laughs> right, so we've got Luckily enough for the pair of us, we have got the whole lake, which is unusual for a Mozaversus. It's probably to do with my opponent and all that, you know, being uh, who he is and who he knows and whatnot. Just gets lake exclusives wherever he goes. So, so yeah, because we've got the whole lake, uh, Mark shows sort of the right hand side of the lake, which he's got three quarters of, may I add. And uh, I've got the left-hand side of the lake. So what we're gonna do is just go around a few of the likely looking stalking areas, put a little bit of bait in there, get set up in the swims, probably have a little fish in the swims and then go and check our stalking spots, get the rods in a bit later on and see whether, you know, there's an opportunity to be had elsewhere on the lake. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I've got my boilies, got some corn, all jokes aside though, we have got the whole lake. The owner, due to obviously COVID-19 and everything at the minute, didn't want the lake, you know, obviously rammed out with loads of people, etc. So yeah, that is why we've got the lake exclusive. It's got nothing to do with Mark at all. <laughs> so I've just had a walk around, baited a few spots, and I've just fired out a few floaters as well to drift down to the area where I saw those few fish. But as I've been back in the swim, I have seen a few fish up against the island, but they're right underneath them branches. So I'm just going to tie up a few rigs now. And where those fish are up against the island, underneath the trees, there's no way I could cast to them with a, with a standard rig and just get caught up in the branches. So instead, I'm looking to fish with a PVA bag approach. That way, I should be able to drill the rig through, the, through those lower branches on the trees without the hook getting caught up in any branches. That's the plan. I do think there's a chance of a, of, a, of a fish off the top down there as those floaters are drifting down the end of the lake. I'm hoping that one or two fish start taking. If not, I've got the margin spots I've baited to fall back on. So now I feel like I am sort of building up some sort of plan in my mind. So then, Mark, just before we get started, uh -huh. if you'd have seen one of these before, you'd no. have realised there was a forfeit at the end. Okay. For whoever loses. Yeah, okay. that's interesting. This time round, yeah. what's been chosen as the forfeit is... Who chose it? I chose it. Okay. I chose it. I get to check my show. <laughs> <laughs> you get to send a text message yeah. on the other person's phone to any one of their contacts. That's and cheeky. You get to write whatever you like. That See, is cheeky. You could reply to my mum, you know, Lee's running off with me forever. Yeah. You could text Lewis or maybe or maybe text Alex. The carp freaks are no longer. We have to take them off the market. <laughs> they're all they're all bot baits, Alex. <laughs> so yes, any one of your contacts. We'll yeah. obviously disinfect the old phones, you know, before yeah, before yeah, yeah, exchanging yeah, yeah. phones, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. But yeah, whoever loses. That seems too much fun to be a forfeit. Well, it's, it'll be good though, but but you have to play along with it for the next two messages. So whatever their reply is, yeah. 
you got to okay, play along. Okay, right? yeah, like, yeah. Only for two messages. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Okay. And then we'll post the replies up for everyone to see. That's brilliant, yeah. All right. That sounds up good. For that? I'm right up for that. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> right, may the best man win. Yeah. So the swim itself, like I've said, I've got an island to my right hand side. I've got a little bit of open water out dead centre of the swim and I've got an aerator down to the left hand side, which the owner's going to keep on for us whilst we're here. And yeah, you know, fish love a bit of oxygen and that looks like a likely area. The aerator's actually set back in into a bush, you know, that, that looks carpet as anything to drop a rig down. So I've baited that bush, gonna keep an eye on it in the hope that, you know, they might get their heads down there. But yeah, things are looking very devoid at the moment. And yeah, I'm just hoping that this bush that's out off of the island here is gonna do me a few bites. pre-baiting those few areas has definitely paid off. I pre-baited a spot down to the right here in between a, a branch and a, and a set of lily pads and after about 10 minutes the spot was fizzing like mad. Oh, that's a nice fish. This would be great to see this go in the net so early on in this session. It's uh, settled my nerves a little bit and um, unsettled mozzers. <sighs> Come on. Come on, get in that net, get in that net, get in that net. Swam straight in, that'll do. <laughs> what an amazing start. Got a nice chunky mirror. Probably about 15, 16 pounds, something like that. What are we guessing? 15s? 15, 12? 16, 1. Well, that is a great start. The rod have been in the water. Not much more than five minutes and we've got this 16 pounder. Just a smidge over 16 pound, but I'll take that all day long. I decided not to stay in my swim from the start. I decided instead to bait a few areas, check out a few spots, and it didn't take long before I found fish fizzing away and it didn't take long to get up and running. So that's 16 pound, one ounce on the leaderboard. And I reckon Mozza is already feeling the pressure. Well, after I caught that fish down that right hand margin, I've not seen any, any fish visiting that spot since then. But what I have seen is fish over to the left here on another spot that I baited. Um, so what I have done, um, on the lead clip that I'm using, I attached an impact spot, cast it towards as close as I could towards that bank because of, because of the overhanging trees, um, it's a really tricky cast, I can't cast in a straight line, so I had to cast upwind with a floating impact spot. And that's just sort of drifted along. I've then gone round to the bank where I saw the fish feeding. And on a spare rod, I've attached one of the grappling marker leads, cast over the, the line, and then brought it back to where, to where I baited the spot and the fish were feeding. I then took off the impact spot put on a lead, attached a rig, and then lowered the rig in place. Now on the bank right in front of the spot, 
I've put a bank stick with a, a bobbin attached and a uh, rear butt grip. And then I've attached the line, I've clipped the line into the line clip. Then when I've come back to the rod, I've tightened up and now all the line is above the surface. There's no line running towards the rig at all, apart from just a short section of slack line from where it's clipped into the, the line clip on the bank stick. So that means all that line is out of harm's way. It's nice and slack, it's pinned down on the lake bed and it's just a short length of line anyway, rather than having the line cutting through the swim and potentially stopping other fish from visiting the, that area. It just makes it a much safer, a safer zone for those fish to visit. And hopefully it's gonna pay off. Get the bite. <laughs> I was actually, I was just on my way down the bank to check that margin spot and to introduce a little bit more bait. And um, I only walked a few yards. And that's when the rod went and Brad, the cameraman, had to uh, had to take over. I left him in charge of the rod while while I was walking down the bank. So yeah, thanks for that, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Another three seconds and I'd have been on it. Angry, angry, angry. Chill out. If I can get this in, that will be great. Two fish at this really early stage. That'll really put the pressure on Moz. It's a lovely fish. This time, oh, it's lovely. Even more lovely in the net. Get in, yes! Oh, I'm happy with that. I'm so happy with that. That's a lovely looking fish, that one. Still, still lively. I think this one's a little bit bigger than the first one. We've got a really nice plated linear here. Similar size, maybe. Similar size, but a great looking fish. Really nice fish. So my second fish, a little bit smaller than the first, but a really pretty fish all the same. 15 pound exactly this one and this does put a bit of pressure on Mozza but literally just as we put this fish down on the mat Mozza is into a fish I don't know what's happening it's gone very quiet hopefully he hasn't lost it because that will really that'll really test his nerves won't it but right now I do feel like the wind is in my sails I feel like I'm onto a, a bit of a winning tactic at the moment and I do feel like there's a chance of another fish before this evening Just had a bite finally it must have been the only fish that was up this end of the pond because i've seen nothing at the moment i'm pacing up and down the bank in the hope to try and get something going in the edge like what mark has but it's just not the fish down here at the moment <sighs> which means me just having a bite from the open water i saw a fish show out in the open water and uh, stuck a solid bag on top of it Ripped off, go to fish at the surface straight away. Ripped off, right, tried to get round the corner of the island. And yeah, I had to give it the full bean to obviously stop it from doing that. <sighs> and the hook's pulled, gutted. Not the one, especially when you're two fish down, you know, really, really needed that. Cause it's looking barren up this end of the pond. And yeah, that, <sighs> I know that's gonna hurt me later on in the match. I know it is. Can I nick a bag of crisps? 
Mark. That's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> did you lose that fish? Yes, Mark. I did lose that fish. Did you catch yours? Yeah. Mm. Cheating. That's, un that's unlucky, that, mate, isn't it, really? Cheating, didn't you? Mm. You cheated. It is unlucky. Uh, are you cheating? <laughs> Stop avoiding the question. No, I'm fishing. No, I'm not. No, no, actually. no, no, no. I'm fishing within Don't the fishery rules. Don't act surprised. Rules. I am surprised I'm fishing within the fishery rules. Mm, <laughs> so am I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, I'm gutted I've lost that one. Really? Yeah, proper. I'd be really pissed off if yeah, I'd lost one. I am pissed off, let me tell you. It's not the one. Was it a good one? Oh, it was a monster. They always are when they fall off, mm, don't they? Yeah. They always are I don't when know. they fall off. I don't, I don't know when you lose them. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> For Harry somewhere. <laughs> nice and sunny here though, you're getting a tan. You all call your mate up. <laughs> it's crap down there, there's loads of fish but no yeah, sun. Yeah, loads of fish but no sun. There's mm. no fish up here but You just lost one. You just lost the fish in yeah, your swim. The only one. <laughs> Just rolling into the evening now and uh, yeah, sitting back, having a beer as you do when you're on a lovely venue like this. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the rods at the moment. I'm happy with two of them, to be honest, because they're in the zone of where I'd lost one, which I'm very unhappy about, let me tell you. Because I'd have gone in tonight with only one fish being in it, which means I'm in the game. Don't get me wrong, I'm not you know, I'm not dead and over just yet. I'm going to win this match, let me tell you. I'm going to claw this one back. But I've got something to go on now. You know, I've had that bite, so at least that's something to go on at the very least. You know, you've always got to gain something, even if it's a lost capture like the one that I had. But, but yeah, you know, uh, it's what it is. We're going to get cob on tonight gonna get that on I'm gonna put some lovely chicken on there and enjoy the rest of this sunset for the evening and fingers crossed I can start clawing this match back this evening so earlier I caught those two fish out of that corner area where the fish were patrolling along that margin but now now that the sun has dropped down I do feel like the fish have moved away from that end it's actually quite a, quite a lot cooler down there it's, sweltering in the main part of the lake but down there in the shade it's actually quite cold and I do think that the fish have moved out of that shallow silty water as the temperature has dropped so I've come back to the swims that I actually picked this morning and I'm getting the rods sorted for the night ahead the plan is to put two rods on the island on solid PVA bags and I'm going to put one rod open water between the island behind me and and the bank here um, that's where the fish seem to be moving when they were moving down into that uh, into other end of the lake. So I'm, I'm hoping to sort of intercept them as they start to move down. So I'm just gonna uh, just put a, a, a yellow wafter out there, a couple of pouches of sweet corn over the top, and that'll be that trap set too. So anyway, I'm gonna get this rod up against the island now. Well, good morning. Um, last night was a really quiet night, other than the sound of Mozza sobbing in his sleeping bag. That's about all there is to report. I had no liners, no indications, but I'm okay, because I've caught a couple of carp, I can relax. But Mozza, he, he's not looking very relaxed at the moment. He's walking up and down, 
He's reeling his rods in, chucking them anywhere. Now he's throwing something in the lake. He really doesn't look happy. He really is looking so stressed, Brad. I thought he'd be used to being in this position where he's getting beat. I thought he'd know how to roll with it, but he's, he's not coping, is he, very well? I think he might need to get counselling down or something. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want a coffee, mate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I've sat it out for the morning in the swim and yeah, nothing's happened to be honest. Had a couple of liners on some of the open water rods that are out there, but yeah, uh, you know, I'm not seeing a lot out in front of the swim here. I've been baiting this margin, which is over my shoulder here, since yesterday, since I've got here. And again, I've not seen any carp whatsoever along there, but I've got to try something. So what I'm going to do is get the rods in that are in the swim, and I'm going to get a rod down on one of the baited areas that I've been baiting since being here, in the hope that something might come along. Just got to try and do something to buy a bite, you know? So that's the state of play at the minute. It's sort of half nine, 10 o'clock in the morning at the moment. Doesn't look like anything's happening in the swim here. So I'm gonna get my rod out, round on one of the other swims in the bottom corner here and fish to the opposite bank. Well, that bite came much quicker than I was expecting. I didn't think anything would happen until, the, until this afternoon, but as you can see, I'm playing another fish. It doesn't feel very big, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, because if this goes in the net, I think it's absolutely game over for Mozza. I really do. This will be a nice little result if we can get this fish in the net so early in the day. I think that'll give me a bit of, a, a bit of clear ground from Mozza. And I think Mozza will really start to crack if this one goes in. Come on. Nice. This time. This time. This time. Get in the neck, get in the neck. Yes, yes! It's a little bit louder just to wind Mozzer up a little bit more. <laughs> oh, he's bigger than I thought. <laughs> he's much bigger than I thought. Three fish in the bag. Three nil up. Can Mozzer come back from that? I don't think he can mentally or physically or emotionally. I think he's done for. Got one then? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Had to wait ages for that bite, probably about 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, oh, there is fish in here then. Yeah. Look at him. That'll do. That'll do. I'll sell you him. <laughs> How much? <laughs> well done, mate. Well done. Oh, dear. This could quite possibly be my worst ever session. Uh, Honestly. I'm not, I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you, but things you've told me just then, alarm bells are ringing in Shut my head. Shut up, Mark. They are. Fucking alarm bells are ringing. I mean, micro pellet and sweet corn? Who does that? Really? Solid bag in silt? Really? That's risky. That's risky manoeuvres. I mean, it could pay off big time. Big time. Oh, you could blank but it could pay off. <laughs> <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. You're trying to convince yourself. No, 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 honestly, I think, no, I admire your bravery. You. You're committed to it. Mm. When, when I would have frowned upon them tactics, you're like, no, that's my plan. I'm sticking to it. Yeah. And I admire that. Thank you. Do you know what I admire about you? Here we go. Paul. Oh. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> knew you were going to say that. Literally. No. <laughs> Just imagine if you'd learned how to count boilies better, you'd be down here, blanking in here instead of blanking over there. True. Yeah. True. True. <laughs> it's 
What are you saying? What are you saying? I'm saying 16 2. 16 2. 15 7. 15 12. So fish number three for me, 15 pound, 12 ounces. And I feel like I'm really tightening the screw on Mozza. He's starting to crack and I do have a bit of sympathy for him now. I'm gonna start going easy on him, I think. Well, I might not have ever won any Mozza versus, but I'm definitely going to win the old Drennan Cup off you, Rich Wilby. So I'm coming for your little cup here, sunshine. Look at the size of that thing! <laughs> he is an absolute monster. Mate, I need to come back here for a roach match. Look at him. He's a giant. Let's take your rook out. I admire you. I think pictures is on about... Well, mate, Pitcher's on, got nothing you on me. On about 50 pound and you're on about three. Mate, <laughs> mate, Pitcher's got nothing on me. Look, look at this red fin. Come on. That is a proper giant. That and he spawned out there. Oh, God. He's lovely. Go on in, son. Thanks for the visit. Oh, <laughs> you dirty bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that good there all over. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it? It's something about me and bloody things like that splashing me. It's my first one of them, whatever. <laughs> God, man, <this> is <laughs> He's battered me. I can't see anything. Sam? Sam? Yeah. <sighs> My heart's pounding. <laughs> I've just been... I've just been flicking in some bits of bread crust down near this willow tree down to the left of the swim and just one fish started taking and it took every single bit of crust apart from the hook bait and just when I'm beginning to think is that bread still on the hook has it, has it come off fish came up took it and just darted underneath the willow this is much bigger than what I have been catching much bigger oh there's so many roots down there I don't like that I don't like that I'm coming Oh, that's a much bigger fish. Oh, so many more branches and roots and snags along here. Oh, come in, please, please. Oh, yeah. He's going back to where I hooked him. I have to walk down. There's so many roots down here that I really don't like the look of. Don't like the look of that line on that branch either. Right, his head's up now. Try and keep his head up. And I'll go in that net. Get in that net. Get in that net. Yes! Oh, oh I feel so relieved. Now oh. a breath. Oh yes, that's the one. That is the one. That's a really nice fish. Nine, nine. <laughs> <laughs> no way! 29 pound nine ounces. Oh wow! Oh yes! <laughs> 
29 pound, nine ounces. An awesome mirror stocked on a piece of free lined crust a few feet from the bank. That for me is angling. I absolutely love it. I'm buzzing right now to coin Moz's phrase, which feels quite appropriate right now, seeing as it's his show. But uh, I am so pleased with that. So pleased. I could see it was a bigger fish than what we've been catching, but I didn't think it was this big. <sighs> Near 30 pounder. <laughs> My mind is blown. This has been an amazing session for me, not so much for Mozza, but I'm loving it. Well, there's about an hour of this match remaining and I'm still hopeful for just one more. I've managed to get a few fish feeding down the margin to my right, putting a little bit of corn, there's a few bubbles coming up. So I'd like to uh, have one more go for one, one more fish. That's me done, mate. That's you done? That's me done. You've got an hour? I ain't gonna catch four fish in the next hour, am I? It's hard work, but it's not impossible. Yeah, it's not gonna happen, mate. There's nothing up there, Dave. One of them. I'll be honest, mate, you've done a lot better than I expected you to do. <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> catching nothing. <laughs> yeah, but you, you did it better than I expected. Thank you, thank you. So... I'll take that on board. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, it's been soul destroyed up there. So I guess I've won then. Yes, yes, it looks like it's forfeit time and you so... get to take control of my mobile phone. I've been looking forward to this. I've had this planned in my mind ever since you told me about it. Yeah? Yeah. Did Hand I mention over. I've lost my phone? <laughs> <laughs> hand it, it over. It needs disinfecting first. It does need disinfecting. Disinfect it, hand it over. I will do. Okay. <laughs> right then, Mark. It's on the bucket, disinfected. Do your worst. <laughs> okay. Okay. So oh, let's God. see who we've got in your this contacts here. We've got quite a Quite a lot of popular people here, quite a lot of celebrity anglers. <laughs> Harry Charrington, there's one. <laughs> Who's he? Um, Dave Lane, now there's an angling legend. Yeah. Dave Lane, wow. <laughs> yeah, let's have a go with this. Dave. <laughs> Hi, Dave. <laughs> I just wanted to say Thank you for a great night last weekend. <laughs> I had never done anything like that before. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I had seen lots of videos <laughs> and always wanted to try it myself. <laughs> Can we please keep this our Naughty little secret. <laughs> oh, <dear>. <laughs> um, <clears throat> same time this weekend? Question mark. <laughs> and smiley, love hearty face. So we've got here. Go for it. Hi Dave, I just wanted to say thank you for a great night last weekend. I've never done anything like that before. <laughs> I, had, I had seen lots of videos and always wanted to try it myself. Can we please keep this our naughty little secret? Same time this weekend. Mm. <laughs> kiss, kiss, kiss. Send. Send. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, I thought it was going to be a ten times worse than that, to well, be honest. I, I think it's quite good. I'm happy with that. You're happy with that? Yeah. Right, let's see there the reply. Go. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Hurry up! <laughs> Why hasn't he replied? <laughs> oh dear. So that's it guys. Some of you may be aware that we've just released some new Edges camo range. Yes, so we thought we'd give you guys a chance to win some new Edges camo bits. And all you have to do to stand a chance of winning an Edges camo bundle is simply write in the comment section below the weight of the biggest fish I caught. And then we will pick a winner from all the correct answers purely at random.